How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Decks, and today I have built a Shell Folk Infinite deck with Akshan. Now, this is technically not my original idea. This deck has been around for a long time, and um, the main idea behind this deck is to just play a bunch of one mana or zero mana predicts with Shell Folk. Since Shell Folk copies whatever you pick in your predict, whatever you pick, you're just going to get a copy in your hand, and Shell Folk will make it cost minus one, which means anything that is one cost or less is going to be zero cost. And that's what lets us go infinite. But if you're wondering how we actually win the game with this deck, the answer is very simple. Again, since anything that's one mana or less will be zero mana and we can get infinite copies of it, we're going to kill the opponent with just an insane amount of zero mana poison darts. Now, most people who play this deck also run Kahiri as a win con. Usually he's like, I think a one of or two of. Personally, I feel like he's a little bit weak since he is a unit. He could just get vengeance. Um, I prefer poison darts just because like they're a little bit harder to counter in my opinion. But, I don't know, feel free to run Kahiri if you feel like it. I wouldn't recommend it, but some people do. Hope you enjoyed today's games as much as I did, and I apologize in advance uh, if you meet this deck on the ladder. Here's game one. Man, a lot of, lot of aggro. I guess this is a pretty solid hand against aggro. Shelf looks obviously not great, but like it's a win con, so I guess we'll keep it. This is going to be painful. I can, I can already tell this match is going to be painful. <laughs> this is going to hurt. This is gonna hurt me deep down inside, but that's all right. That's how every match is anyways. This one's just gonna hurt me a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Please miss. Please miss. Oh no, oh, oh he, never mind. <laughs> he, he, he literally cannot miss. He, he predicted. He placed the Rek'Sai on top of his deck like a cheater. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we'll we'll probably kill this with Poison Dart. Got it down to 1 HP. That's not bad. I'll drop Owl Cat. We're, we're doing alright as far as, like, uh, anti-aggro hands. I, I think this is a really good matchup for us, actually. As long as we have, like, three to four blockers in the early game, Lurk cannot win before turn six, right? Then we just play Shuffle and we win. As, as long as I... I still feel like I don't know how to play this deck. I gotta figure out how to play it. When we look ahead, we know how I've, I've barely played any games with this. So I'm still, like, pretty rusty. I'll, I'll kill this, I guess. Uh, sometimes it would be better to just, like, throw that back in my deck with careful prep. Like, in an ideal game, we want all of our poison darts in our deck so that Shelfolk can find them when we predict. Uh, I'll let him hit for five. This is the least amount of damage he's ever going to do. I'm going to drop Akshan as Pike bait. If he has Pike, it's going to come out right now. I don't want Shelfolk getting hit by Pike spell. So he doesn't have Pike spell. Because if he's playing against us, he would have played it before we had Deny. I'll just drop a Zillion. I kind of wanted to save Zillion for after Shelfolk, but I can't be too greedy. Hey. Another Zillion. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Not bad. Uh, easy block. Get in there, buddy. Tear him apart. Tear him apart with your with your little beak. That is a small beak. I, I was going to say, can we just like look at and analyze how small his beak is? Uh, but we can't. Because he's dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, little buddy. This is short-lived. This is short-lived life. I'm gonna pass. I'm I'm a little sus of Pike here. I'm like a little sus, just a little. I'll block with uh, I'll block with Zillion. I I want to see if maybe he'll maybe he'll play his Pike spell on on auction if he has Pike spell. I just gotta hope he doesn't have Pike spell. If he has Pike spell, it's just GG's. Go next. He doesn't have Pike spell. Uh, that's fine. I actually keep Akshan alive here because he can open attack next turn. Uh, and here we go. We start. We do the thing. I actually should have, um... I should have, I should have played Scrying Sands, but that's right. Huge starter. Condense is gigantic. I'll actually just pass here. And we'll get triple coral creatures. And what can he do? 
Like, actually, what can he do? If I have, if I have triple coral, do I just win? This is so funny, actually. <laughs> All right, uh, triple coral condense procs the landmark, which is hype. Dude, this guy's, this guy's, <laughs> he's already getting tired about how long I'm taking to think. Just wait until we go infinite. Just wait. It's about listen, man. You're you're about you're about to you're about to have to wait a while. I'm just saying. If you thought that was a long wait, just just you wait. <laughs> oh no. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Zillion back in the deck. I don't need him. We'll play careful prep. And at this point, all we're looking for is damage to the Nexus. Uh, also, zero cost cards. So shape stone, uh, triple shape stone. Thank you. Some free little uh, Oxshod level up real quick. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll I'll maybe minus two before we play the other shape stone, just because this shape stone is. Oh, there we go. Like. There's a chance we could get another free one. Hog. There it is. Ah, uh, alright. Very nice, very nice. Free zero cost predict. Let's hit it. What else we got? Uh, more shaped stone. Wow. That's too many. That's actually too many. I can't... Is that too many? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six... We, we, we're actually, like, so close to popping Landmark. It's kind of funny. I gotta play Zillion. What we need to happen here is we need Zillion into... Uh, Zillion. Oh, no. I might have messed up. We actually might lose next turn. Because I'm out of mana now. I think I need to find a Trinket trade. Because if we can get Otter Pusses, then we can restore all of our... All of our spell mana. Okay, I'll just take a, a bajillion shaped stones. Whatever. That's, that's good enough. Uh, this will this will never not be funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, you're gonna strike something? You, I'd be careful, man. I'd be careful what you pick, because I might just be able to give it plus five HP. Not like that's gonna matter. Uh, actually, will that matter? Hold on. One attack, five lurk. He does six damage. Uh, this is stupid. This is just this is dumb. This is very dumb. Um, I'll I'll leave him. Yeah, I listen, man. I get it. I'm taking a long time. I'm sorry. Okay, let me enjoy. Let me enjoy the moment. Have you ever heard of living in the moment? He hasn't, obviously. Oh man. All right. Uh, free tech with Oxon. Obviously, he blocks. I don't think he wants to take 50. I mean, I don't know. Lurk players are crazy, man. You never know. But I don't, I'm going to assume he doesn't want to take 15. Kind of a lot. Yeah, so unfortunately, I mean, every time we predicted, we just kept finding only shaped stone. Usually, like, things go a lot crazier if I just don't have only shaped stone. But this is pretty good, too. All right. Uh, so double shaped stone. Because he didn't open attack, now we're chilling. We just draw two, everything costs one less. There we go. Double predicts. That's pretty good. Uh, let's start with this. Let's just minus his Rek'Sai a little bit, shall we? Uh, three predicts. Oh, let's go. Hog. What else we got? Time bombs. That's a little too expensive. I'm not a big time bomb guy. Maybe conch. Conch is pretty good. Take some conches. Dicked again. What else we got? Um, yeah. Time to bottles. Not huge. A lot of conches. I'll, I'll actually skip this one just because I'm running out of hand space. I will. That is a decision you have to make sometimes. You do have to skip. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. None of those are really exciting to me either. I'm going to skip these as well. Uh, we'll predict. Throw a conch back in the deck. And we need to find a good pick here. Something burst speed. None of this is burst speed. Maybe I shouldn't be playing Zillion in this deck. <laughs> If this time bomb just wasn't here and it was like a trinket trade instead, uh, <laughs> we actually we actually would have been fine. But I think now I, I think I've goofed and I think we might be dead. Oh, that's that's fine, fine. I'll, I'll just take a time bomb. Five five time bombs can't hurt. We play conch. I need, I actually need to find like a really good conch spell now. None of these are that good. I I guess like. 5,000 discards is pretty good against uh, a Lurk deck. 
I'll take that. <laughs> but that, are we dead? I feel like we might be dead still. Does Rek'Sai... I think Rek'Sai just barely does not level up, luckily for us. No, we're fine. Pike doesn't level either. He's only going to be, what, 8 attack? This is the only issue, but I just, like, I... I blocked that with Akshan. We're good. You know, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. I lose a couple Shell Folk, but, like, do I really need them? Uh, at this point, probably not. Uh, all right. All right. Nice. Yeah, so that's what this deck does. Um, I don't know. Obviously, it could, pr it could be improved a little bit. This probably is not the ideal build for the deck, but... We do get to discard his entire hand, which is pretty funny. <laughs> so there's that. See you later. No more cards for you. Sorry, man. You've played enough. You've played enough cards this game. I'm kind of sick of it. I'm sick of the amount of cards you have. I just want them gone. I want all of them gone. Just all of them. Just every, every single one that you have. Please, just get rid of it. Just throw it away. I don't want to see him anymore. If it has Lurk on it, I just, I don't want to see it. Did he quit? Oh, no. Oh. 200 IQ. He plays the, he plays the card so that he doesn't lose it. Genius. We're actually, we're down to 1 HP. This mad lad, <laughs> this mad lad actually plays Bone Skewer. What is he doing? Alright, that's fine. So we know what is... He was gonna rally! If I didn't have discard your entire hand, he would have rallied. We actually would have lost the game. That's insane. Uh, he saved on my Shelf Hulk, by the way. Biggest mistake he could have ever made. All of our cards do cost um, minus one this round as well. So there is that. Which is funny. Uh, we'll just we'll wipe his board real quick to the best of our ability. We're not going to be able to kill this anymore because Akshan's not smacking it in the face. But that's fine. <laughs> oh man all right um <laughs> let me play codge let's play codge let's see what he what he what he gives us another predict would have been hype here magical journey is kind of good <laughs> he's so mad he is just sick he is sick of having to wait for me to make decisions no more decision making he says just stop it just play your cards I, the problem is, believe it or not, I feel like Electro Harpoon is not good here. I feel like we don't have enough, um... Discard. Whatever. I, I'll actually pick Electro Harpoon. Here's what we'll do. I'll, I'll time in a bottle this. I'll this with time in a bottle. Uh, and if we can chain more predict, like a zillion... We might have a chance here. I actually have to pick this because Coral Creatures does not copy champions. So if I picked zillion, I would have got nothing in hand. Now we play this guy for zero mana. <laughs> and uh, we actually might be able to just go infinite this turn. We gotta play fast. We actually, do we have lethal? I think we have lethal. Unless I'm mistaken, I do believe we have lethal here. I'm gonna discard Time Bomb. I'll deal two to this, since Rek'Sai's going back in the deck. I think, I think this is game. I think we actually just have him. Stun lock. <laughs> it's just up to him how long he wants to sit here while I slowly grope through the rest of my deck to find lethal. Uh, I'm following you because you're a monster. Thank you. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Hey, that's how we're supposed to do it. That's the card we're supposed to find. That's the one we're supposed to hit lethal with. That's cool. That's epic. <laughs> this is this is the most this is the most slow and agonizing deck and death. Anyone could ever ask for. It's slow and agonizing for me, because like I'm the one who has to play it. It's also slow and agonizing. Oh. Wait, this is zero. This is gonna be zero. This is <laughs> Alright, we had it. Listen. We had it. We had lethal. It was there. He just he is a lurk player. He was not willing to sit through it. Samira Draven Bandle City. This is probably a lot like the Samira Riven Bandle City deck, which was basically just like Owl Cats. Um, this is going to be very aggro. I'm going to reroll all of this hand because these are cards I want to stay in my deck so that I can find them 
once I have coral creatures on board. It's actually like the the way you play this deck right now, this coral creatures deck. It's very important which cards are in your hand and which cards are in your deck. If you just draw like all your poison darts, for example, then you just have no way to find poison darts, right? Like coral creatures will not be duplicating poison darts because you already drew all of them in your hand. So we got to be like very careful about which which cards we take and which cards we uh, keep in our deck. Careful prep helps. Yeah, careful prep is one of the best cards in this deck. Just because if that happens, uh, I can just put a card back in my deck. Like, I'll probably do that with this predict. This is a really good card to be in my deck. I'll probably just throw this back in. I'll pass. Dang it. <laughs> Why do you attack, man? I pass. I could have quicksand or something. Aren't you scared of quicksand or something? Uh. That tip is what makes a combo echo player better than others managing cards you take. Yeah, it, it probably applies to any deck that has predict. I don't think it's as big of a deal in any other deck, literally any other deck than this one, but it probably does apply like more than you would think. I'll pass. Like, <laughs> I'm, literally the way this deck works is just like, how long can I get away with passing? Until I drop my coral creatures. This card is... Oh. Okay. If I wanted to, like, survive longer, this is not the correct card to pick, but I'm going to pick it. I'm just going to drop both conches. Uh, I'm starting to learn... Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot he had that. That's fine. His research. No. Not his res Okay, we can kill Draven here. That's huge, actually. That's Hugh Jackman. That's literally Hugh Jackman. That 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 conchologist right there. I know it might be hard to tell, but he is being played by Hugh Jackman himself. His research. His research is excellent, might I say. Conch gaming? Yeah, that's that's uh Maybe the best conchologist I have ever had. I mean, and again, he's being played by Hugh Jackman. What, what do we expect? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this back in my deck. I'll probably do the same with the trinket trade with my other careful prep. Uh dang. That's all of the cards I want to stay in my deck, but this is fine. I'll I'll just take a scrying sands, I guess. Okay. The the other good thing about careful prep is it makes a copy. So like I don't feel bad about playing the Scrying Sands because there's another one in my deck, right? This is like a brand new one. I just fabricated. Scrying Sands is good to copy. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I'll chomp that. I actually will just play like minus two on the Mushroom Ring and kill it. I don't know what this deck is. It's hard to tell. If this is Owlcats like I thought, this actually gets like scarily giant. He got this randomly though. Like he doesn't main deck this. Something's telling me that, like, I should probably kill this right now. Even though it's a random hit, I have a bad feeling about where this is going to go. Uh, nice. All right. And we have a really good hand, honestly. The only question is, can I afford to drop Coral Creatures next turn? I'll take another Scrying Sands, I guess. Obviously, we block with Auction. He's going to hug it out. Something like that. And Landmark is down to one, which is Pog. That is Pog Champ. I'm going to attack with Auction. He should beware if he knows it's good for him. He should not block with a 3-3 three, three unless he's a Maniac. He does not block with the 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, okay, that's better That's better than blocking with a 3-3, to be fair. I would actually have appreciated if he blocked with a 3-3 and then Pokestick's his own unit. That would have actually been even more hype, but I'll... I'll take it. Alright, I mean, the reason I opened attack here was not because I wanted to level Auction. I actually don't even care. I just wanted to... I just wanted to feel safe dropping Shellfolk. I still don't feel safe. <laughs> that did not do much to make me feel safe, I'm gonna be honest. He could just, like, 
Pytos disintegrate. But he didn't. But he didn't. All right, and now we go ham. Now we go crazy. Now we go wild. Uh, Prank is honestly pretty bad against this deck because he doesn't have a lot of like spells. I don't. I, I wouldn't expect him to have a lot of spells. Obviously, I save Scrying Sands for next turn. I'm either condensing or careful prepping this turn. I'm going to careful prep this Otterpus since I can't even play him anyways. I might just find him and get a zero mana blocker this turn. Um, hmm. I'll take another Predict. I guess we'll just chain Predicts as much as possible. This, this is pretty good. And uh, we'll save these for, for next turn. I can actually just like survive next turn off of a bajillion Scrying Sand. All right. Nice. <laughs> That's a lot of minus two. That's a lot of minus two in my head. Like, just saying, that's a lot of minus two. Uh, I'll chump block the six two. Let, let's start with, with uh, removing attack from the impact units. I'll take this. Thank you. Bear with me here. This is going to take, like, a moment. Uh, I'll take this. Thank you. And more, more scrying sands. Excellent. I'll take this. Jump on over here. Poison dart. Not the worst. Sure. I'll take that. Why not? <laughs> I'll just, uh, you know, we we do a little scrying. We we have some sands. What can I say? We we do like our sands around here. That's for good measure. Why not? You know, why not? Oh, another another shelf. I I don't need another shelfful. Do I really? I probably don't need another shelfful. Uh, I'll take this. That that could actually potentially pop the landmark this turn, depending on how this goes. I'll just go for that. Uh, one strike, so that's one countdown, two countdown, three, four, five, six count. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> I did so much minus attack. Alright, I learned my lesson. I should have played it. I should have played around might. Uh, we might, we might be dead. Speaking of might, we might be dead here. We just might. I'm, I'm just gonna try and speed run this landmark as, as fast as possible. I think we actually have it. We definitely have it. Uh, we can make everything cost minus two. I should have picked predict there, but that's alright. We, we do make mistakes from time to time, and you know what? That's what makes us, that's what makes us human. That and our gooey innards. Forget I said that. That... It sounded cooler in my head. Uh, 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 skip. Advance one. I do be out of mana, but I don't play by the rules. Take a right. Probably should have taken a right, but also I am out of mana. Uh, but, you know, Frank's pretty good as well. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good for me and really not great for him. Um, hmm. I mean, he, listen. A normal player might... Okay, before I do anything else, I just realized... I should do this, shouldn't I? I should just, like, throw another... Oh, wait, but now you... Okay, we're fine. Yeah, so we're gonna throw another Shelf Look out there. Uh, he could have just Pokey sticked it. Obviously, he doesn't feel threatened enough to do so. Man, this this is so weird, dude. This it's such it's such a fast paced game playing Coral Creatures Infinite. It's hard for me to even like keep up with it myself. You know, I'm supposed to be the YouTuber here. I'm supposed to be the streamer. I'm supposed to be like it, guiding you through what's happening and explaining to you what's going on. I don't even know what's going on, man. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what we're doing. We're just sifting through the garbage, looking for as many as many poison darts as we can possibly find. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just as confused as all of you are. I mean, this is this is pretty good, right? What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say we find another poison dart. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine, 
That'd be like eight times three puff caps. I don't know if we hit lethal. <laughs> do we do we ever make it to lethal this turn? I need like an insane hit. I need to hit another predict off of careful prep. We can definitely do it. I just have to hit another predict off of careful prep. Oh man. Alright. And now the question is, ladies and gentlemen, do they quit before we reach lethal? Or do they let us reach lethal? He has forever? There's no way he has forever. How do you know? He's not streaming. Is he streaming? Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't tell me he has forever. Alright, I'm gonna throw a pokey stick back in my deck. Because there's a chance we could hit it here. Obviously I didn't, but there was a chance. Uh, zero mana, everything. I'll throw this back in my deck as well. Come on, please give me something good. There it is! The Feral Presence is huge. I'll actually go Trinket Trade first, though, because we can refill mana with uh, Otterpus. Let me just... Uh, <laughs> Let me get three free mana real quick. And some Pranks. Pranks are nice as well. <laughs> This is this is the this is I can tell right now this is the pinnacle. This is the moment where he makes his decision. Is he staying or is he leaving the game? If he had forever, he'd play it right now. We know for a fact he does not have forever if he passes back. If he passes back at this very moment, we know he does not have forever. We know. <laughs> I think he just left. He actually just left. He saw that he saw that <laughs> trinket trade. He knew nine otter pusses were coming out here, and he was like, yeah, nah, I'm good. I'll see you later. I'm gonna maybe, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna careful prep a trinket trade back into my deck. How about that? Let's start with this. Let's just even find some more poison darts. That's all I want here, all right? But no, we don't have any poison darts. I mean, I'll take a right. Now he definitely can't win. There is no, there is no way for this poor man to win. It, 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 it's, we've soft blocked him. He has officially been soft blocked. Was uh, da 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 da. Oh, I'm sorry, fans. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen. Do you uh? Do you have a PayPal? <laughs> All right. Nasus Akshan. This can't be a hard deck to play against. Surely. Surely this deck will not be a difficult and rough time for me, a Coral Creatures player, to play against. Why did you give up on Zillion? I, I didn't like that he stuffs my deck with uh, slow cards. The whole point of this deck is we want to play like burst speed stuff, like Scrying Sands. So playing Zillion and just throwing a bunch of time bombs in my deck just felt kind of like anti-synergy. If he if he plays double Ravenous Butcher right now, I've... Okay. <laughs> Imagine how nuts of a starter hand that would be. Just like zero mana, or no, one mana, Ravenous Ravenous. That'd be nuts. One mana, Ravenous Ravenous, Pesky Spectre. Third Ravenous. Imagine. He'd have no cards left at that point, but like, imagine though. Don't, want to die. Don't do terrible things. He actually can't attack with his 1 1 now, which is hilarious. Attacks with 3 2, I trade. He has no good place. He has to just sit back and pass. Or not. <laughs> or, or he could just do that. Sure. Kill off your 3 2, man. I don't care. Um, I mean, not a bad starter hand. All things considered, this is pretty good. I expect Akshan to probably get hit with the Quietus here. If he knows what he's doing, though, he probably doesn't Quietus Akshan. That's a little bit too risky. Against an a This is not an actual Akshan deck, but, like, he doesn't know that, you know? Against an actual Akshan deck, I just buff and Quietus fizzles. Uh, I guess I'll play Conch block the 3-2 the again. He really should have killed the 1-1. One, one. Because it's just useless. Just doing nothing. Just sitting on board doing literally zero things. You know, the funny thing is, like, I said this deck surely is not going to be hard to play against. So far, <laughs> this is actually, like, not hard at all. 
What is going on? This guy's this guy's deck is just like a bunch of one mana, zero mana units. It's like not what I expected it to be at all. Here is a challenge. Run out of cards, turn one. I can do that. That's incredibly easy. I've I've done that many times. Not on purpose. I'm gonna assume we find coral creatures. I'm gonna lock in that condense, because I think we only have one condense. I could have picked the other time in a bottle there, but I kind of want that time in a bottle to um, stay in my deck. I guess we'll just go for this. I don't know why he's attacking with the 1-1. He must have like, uh, okay, file fees. <laughs> Should have waited, buddy. Should have waited on that one, my friend. I guess I don't get my condensed now, do I? That was a little bit of a waste. I'll, I'll take a time in a bottle again, I guess. It's, it's a little bit of a, in my opinion, wrong move to take another time in a bottle. Because again, like my best cards, like time in a bottle, I want those to stay in my deck. Because then when I predict and I have coral creatures on board, I can duplicate them, right? I'm going to predict shaped stone. <laughs> if only I had that this turn. Dang. I guess I can just speed... I'll just speed pop the landmark and open attack. Honestly. Like, what a, is the best play I've got this turn? I'll take a pokey stick. Alright. Pop the first Akshan landmark. Other than that, hand is looking kind of bricked. Not gonna lie. This is justice. <laughs> like, I, I don't... I don't understand where all three of my coral creatures are. They're kind of just hiding from me. And I don't like it. Obviously, I'll predict again. Hopefully, we can find one. Thank goodness, dude. Holy moly. I don't know if this is reclaiming. This is just like claiming once for the very first time, Akshan. Kind of took us a while. Kind of barely claimed this. But okay. Yeah, sure. Righteously reclaiming. Whatever. Um... That's a big guy. Uh, if he has Desert Duel, we do kind of just lose here. I'm going to resort to the ancient strategy of if they have it, they have it. And I'm going to drop my coral creatures anyways. And obviously, as I'm sure you can probably tell... <laughs> They don't have it. Uh, Shaped Stone is really good. So is Trinket Trade. I'll pick Trinket Trade. Pop this. We'll just see what we get. Could be another Predict. Uh, Prowling Projectile. Actually might kill Nasus. What is Auction's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's just... Oh, man. It's, it's, it's one under killing Nasus this turn. I'm going to go Otterpus. Um, I can actually, I can just draw another auction with Otterpus. I'll just go for Otterpus. Fine. What if we just play Otterpus instead of Trinket Trade? Then we don't get the duplicate Otterpus, like we just got right there. Um, I actually tried main decking Otterpus. It's a lot worse. Trust me. Don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't make the same mistake I did. You definitely, let, let me also just, let me, let me prank real quick just to make sure he doesn't have Vile Feast. That's, okay, that's a lot worse than Vile Feast. What the heck, man? Does pranking this do anything? I guess it does. I can't use it, but like, it's, okay, sure. Probably doesn't have, definitely doesn't have Vile Feast. So this is a Nasus, then. That's a Nasus. Which means he has Siphoning Strike. I, I guess we have double right, so we're fine, actually. I shouldn't have pranked Atrocity. I should have taken free blockers. That was actually a massive misplay. Free, free blockers would have been much better there. Uh, so after Rite of Negation... I'm going to play an Otterpus. We'll Rite of Negation this just to proc the landmark faster. Odds of him top decking like a way to kill this? Extremely unlikely. Uh, the bonk is definitely incoming. So we'll just wait for it. I expect him to just bonk now. Like, why would he not? Ah, okay, okay. So he's gonna he's gonna go for a level on Nasus. Got him. I'll actually I'll, before anything I'll trinket trade. 
because uh, we could get predict, and I want to do predict before anything else. We'll start with predict. If I can find a condense, then we just go ham this turn. Obviously, I want to duplicate coral creatures before. Oh, that's so tempting. Wait, the mini morph is so tempting. He'll just atrocity. I don't think he will. Scrying is probably better. You're right. We predict again. I, mean, I actually should have saved this other predict for another turn, but that's that's all right. Another trinket trade. Um, and then I'll just drop an auction. This should be like sufficient bait for him to either play atrocity or siphoning strike. He's not going to pass back. He's just going to go for it. That's who this type of person is, right? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All right. Um, yeah, let's let's see if we can get this guy to zero attack. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be funny if we could just get him to zero attack real quick? Look, that'd be funny. Hey, Puffball Panda, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you had a great stream. Uh, welcome everyone with Puffball. I am I am currently I'm currently trying to do some coral creature shenanigans. There's, there's no shot. There is no shot. We just hit Scrying Sands off of a Trinket trade, bro. There is no way that's what we hit. Uh, Alright, I probably won't be needing that right negation. I think we can shuffle that back in. I think we'll be okay here. Probably. Let me just, can I, can I find, can I at least find one more? Can I just find one more, please? One more scrying, just to get it to zero. I want to see a clean zero. Please. I need that clean zero, man. Where's the zero? Please. Ah, uh, we didn't hit it. Alright, it's fine. It's it's not a big deal. I probably should have picked the uh, advanced landmark too, but it is what it is. Alright, I mean, Nass is dead. It feels good. He does have another Nasus in hand. Um, that's fine. We can attack with Akshan. I could let me let me just predict real quick because we could farm cards off of this. I also take a poison dart. Maybe ruinous path was better. I don't know. We we got plenty of draw. We'll be okay. This turn is insane. It actually was kind of crazy. But we're very lucky he doesn't like play a control version of this deck because if this was like vengeance, ruination, that type of stuff, like we'd be in trouble. We're super lucky this is just a bunch of, like, one drops and two drops is all he's been playing this game. Poison Dirty or Akshan? Meh. I could. I guess I could. It feels wrong, though. <laughs> do I really do it to him? I don't want to do it to him. I don't have to. Like, we could just be patient. We could be patient. I'm gonna prank. Ah, look at that. See, look at that. Isn't this better? This is just better. This is just better, right? Come on. This is just cooler. He's gonna play his Zolani. I'll play my Zolani. And then they just trade. Like, passing ships in the night. I target this. Everything costs minus two. We go infinite. And all is right in the world. This is, this is the way it was meant to be. And to think you had the audacity to tell me to poison dart my beloved Akshan. It was an Akshan. Oh, that's true. Yeah, this is... <laughs> we thought this... We thought this was a, a second Nasus, like, all game. It's just... It's just a little... It's just a little old Akshan. Who would have thought? Uh, Alright, what do I need the least here? I, I like having a safety right. I'll throw in just uh, a one mana pokey stick, I guess. Everything else in my hand is zero mana, so we'll just keep that. And, uh, you know, we can probably do the thing. I feel like we can do the thing this turn. <laughs> this is probably the turn we end up doing the thing. I should have put Poison Dart back in my deck, by the way. Uh, I will do that now. This is just going to up our chances of finding it. We'll, we'll have a better chance of finding it in our predictions now. But a Condense is too good not to pick. All right. I got to take a Condense. You know I got to take a Condense. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll just drop, uh, drop a couple Shell Folk. We do get to drop all of them, by the way, because all of our cards are minus one cost. 
And uh, we pop off this turn. I know it looks like I'm running out of steam, but just you wait. Just you wait until I have three Shell Folk on board. And I Pokey Stick for zero. And Predict for zero. Honestly, like... <laughs> This deck does feel kind of broken. I feel like I'm nowhere near the best player. If you got like a good player playing this deck, how is this not just like the, one of the best decks in the meta? It's gotta be, right? Like this has gotta be one of the best decks, if not the best deck. There's, there's no way this is not the best deck in the meta. It just has to be. Opponent is gone. Uh, apparently not. It almost seemed like it. Opponent should be gone at this point. <laughs> to be honest, like, <laughs> what are what are they, what are they accomplishing by staying in this match? Let's be real. He actually just loses next turn. I just open attack. Do I even play anything? I could go infinite this turn. Like this is the turn everything costs cost minus two. But like also, he has no blockers. I have exact lethal on board. Ah, what the heck, man. I'll spare him. I'll spare him the Sharima movie. This is a Sharima movie of a... Okay, I gotta... No, I was gonna spare him the movie, but come on, four shell folk. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I gotta... I, I gotta at least play around with four shell folk for a little bit. Come on. I gotta do a little bit of predicting. He, he just got a, a second Zolani top deck. That feels bad, man. The poor guy. All right, let's um, let's see what we can find here, shall we? Shell Folk Army, arise! Oh, excellent. <laughs> Scrying Sands. What a great choice, my my Shell Folk friends. Uh, poison darts, sure. Why not? Let's 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 do a little poison darting, shall we? I think we shall. <laughs> Oh, this is stupid. Your hand is way too full. Don't worry. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. I actually should have played one more poison dart before this, but that's all right. Um, we, we do have to... What When our hand gets full like this, all you got to do is just skip. It's not that complicated. And you just got to hope that like your future predicts hit good cards. Skipping is an option. Skipping is always an option. <laughs> all right. Let's see some more poison darts. Please and thank you. Careful prep is good. I guess we'll take more of those. Oh, but it's one mana, though. I don't want to spend one mana. That's so much. That's so lame. <laughs> so BM. Uh, dude, where are my poison darts? Hello? It's like they don't exist. I actually have to tap out a mana this turn. I can't do it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There's some. There's the, <laughs> the five. That's five poison darts. There's another one on top of my deck too. I'm about to draw into a, another poison dart. Oh man. This poor. Why? Why? There is no explanation for the fact that this man is here, other than he knows he is witnessing a once in a lifetime event. This is like. When your house is on fire, and you know it's bad, but you just, you have to, like, stand there for a moment and just, like, take it all in and be like, wow. My roof is actually just fully in flames at the moment. And then you call 911, you know? That's, like, that's what this is. Why are they? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he does have a Zolani. I feel like if he could see my hand, he probably would not still be in this match, though. Maybe that's what's missing here, is that he just, like, doesn't know. <laughs> he just doesn't know. What is this? I don't know. I don't know what the metaphor is. Don't ask me, alright? Uh, okay. So, obviously, if he attacks, we're fine. We just, like, scrying sands a million times. I'll pop this back in my deck. Let's see if we can duplicate it a little bit more. Oh, no. <laughs> you're, you're a Zolani. She scares me so much. I am so terrified of your Zolani. I cannot express how terrified of your Zolani I am. She is just scaring me. So much. What? Well, whatever will I do? <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> uh, I guess we'll we'll um we'll throw a couple of these back in our deck, shall we? Just just so we can like keep refilling on them. Skip. Throw this back in. Skip again. Uh, or poison dart. I'll take some poison darts. <laughs> this should be legal. It really should, shouldn't it? Like, it's amazing you don't see more people playing this deck, I feel. Uh, let me throw this back in the deck just so we can we can duplicate Scrying Sands, hopefully. Can I find one? I really want to find a Scrying Sand. I want to get all of this down to, like, zero total attack. And the fact that we're not there yet bothers me. There we go. See, that's better. Look at that. A Scrying Sand. I like that. Uh, we'll skip. That's not a Scrying Sand. Where are my Scrying Sands at? Where are my Sanders? Got any- we got any colonal, colonal Sanders? In the chat? Honestly, I should just be advancing this landmark. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, if I really want to win, it's just like, boom. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Opponent taking it like a champ? It's true. It really is true. Alright, I need to find another scrying. Please. I can't- I can't be taking all this damage, guys. We're taking far too much damage here. It's not okay. This is a problem. Like, we're actually- we can't- we can't pass until we take zero damage. It's just unacceptable to take this much damage. It's too much. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Shape stone. Are we trying to winning? Oh, we are. We're not trying. We are definitely winning. All right. I mean, let's be uh, let's be reasonable here. Let's at least do a little bit of blocking, shall we? All right. And you know, I feel like we probably will pop the auction landmark at this point. It's probably a popped landmark. Oh wait, no, I did this wrong. I was supposed to play one more shaped stone so that when auction strikes, he creates a new landmark. I threw the game. I actually threw the game. What do you think of splitting one right with one friendship? Ooh, the spell shield. Yeah, I don't I don't like the uh I don't like friendship because it is only temporary. If it was actually grant spell shield, that that actually in some cases would be worth just to play around mini morph. But because it's like give this round only, I don't know. I don't I don't see it being that good. Uh alright. <laughs> so anyways, I think we won. We probably won. I'd say we we got close enough to winning this game. He definitely checked out. Turned off his PC. Put on his sweatshirt. Grabbed the keys to his car. Went out for a good little, like, night drive. Head Heading straight to Sonic Drive-In. Not sponsored. Pulling up. Let's get a milkshake right now. I bet you. I would need one after that game. I was, that was, that was just messed up, alright? That was just messed up. 